Hello and welcome to Minor Plays a Random Game. Let's go. So this one is Arena. And just before I describe it, uh, uh, this is 1v1v1, everyone's against each other. It is on hard difficulty. And random civilizations, so I'm playing as the Celts, which is quite fortunate with all this wood. Green King Heinrich is playing as the Teutons, and red is Mohammed Shah as Persians and their computers. And I've got limited visibility, so all I can see at the moment is just my base and just a bit of a scouting that I'm doing around. So the idea with Arena, if I just skip, is you have these little bases, uh, you know, guarded by stone walls, and you have lots of wood around here. Now. These, uh, these your bases are they're pretty much square or rectangle, but if there is wood in the way, then you unfortunately your base will be cut off. So you do need to be careful that when you chop through, you don't accidentally chop through this area here. Now the AI do like to do that, and you can just get into their base so easily. But there's also little things like I know this isn't on the front line, but if I was to chop down these two trees, that would allow me access back here. Now one other thing you could do in Arena is to destroy all your walls that lead to the back here. I mean, what's the point of having them? You know, I can get access to this wood here, or, you know, for example, there could be some gold here and just be easy. I mean, there's gold here, I could get rid of this, actually. Now, um, can't remember, actually, but I... Can't, I don't think the Celts can actually get, um, Siege Onigas, because if, if they could... Uh, oh, they, they can, actually. One thing, it would be a very sneaky move to do, but it might help you in the later run. But if you were to get a siege on a gun, come around here and just cut your way through the wood here and approach from the back, you might take the enemy by surprise. I mean, that might not work too well with um, AI. Oh, there's a castle going up. You might not work too well with AI, but it could work well against um, normal people and just trying to gather, gather some relics. Here we go. It could work well against normal people because they might be trying to focus slightly on the front line and making sure the front line looks good and and then, you know, suddenly a siege onica comes from the back and an army comes in from the back. And if they, and some, you know, some people will, for example, let's just say here, I mean, they would, if they were to board that up a bit and yeah, they would probably delete all this wall and just have access to the back a bit easier. But, you know, this is, and then I'd be able to get through the wall with my siege on a gazette and my army and approach the back without them realising. Of course, that's very sneaky, and I haven't actually seen any games that do that, but I'm sure there will be some games here and there online on YouTube and stuff. Now, with AI, you know, they will attack, but if you have a castle... Well, actually, of course, anyone will attack. But I've got a castle here that will be able to get rid of anybody that's around here. And I'm trying to take control of this gold here. And I do have con sort of control, but if the enemy was to have, like, a siege on a go, or they were to have archers, then, they, yes, they might be able to get the gold and um, take out my villagers. Now, I don't attack early on. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's that visibility gone. <laughs> there we go, Scout Cavalry. But yeah, if, um, what's it, Siege Workshop? Yeah. I don't think actually, when I played this, I didn't realise that uh, Celts could get the, um, what do you call it? Yeah, Siege Onagas. So Arena's just a, a simple enough game, and it's, it's a simple. One, one thing that some people like to do in multiplayer matches, I'm just luring him around. Gosh, I'm so sneaky. Uh, one thing I like um, Arena is good for is booming within your own base. Come on, do some work. Uh, yeah, booming within your own base because if you can, you know, uh, have, I've got a bunch of castle uh, houses here. I, to be honest, I don't actually know the best way to sort out houses, whether to have them in one big block. I mean, I would have assumed that would have been good. You know, have them in one big block, maybe against the edge of the map, so they don't cause any obstructions. Um, or have them in sort of rows around the place. Uh, here's Blacksmith and University going up. Oh, yeah, I do have a Blacksmith. So I was going to say, I thought, how enough do I... Am I building a Blacksmith now in the Imperial Age? 
So, another thing I want to do with uh, researching chemistry for a better attack from all these things. And if you can, uh, what I want to, yeah, you you want to try and get a fortified wall as well to, you know, eighteen hundred attack to three thousand at attack health. I mean, not attack. Then that will allow the enemy. Um, to spend more time trying to get in and you can attack them much easier and you sh usually when I attack I end up um, creating many of one particular type of unit for example here I'm doing heavy carry archers and then trebuchets that just seems to be my route and I try to plan my attacks in accordance to that so maybe the Celts can't get fortified walled I don't know but anyway I've cut my way through here yeah as I said before be careful that you don't accidentally cut your way through and that's why I've created lumber camps down here and trying to get these people away from here because then obviously I just don't accidentally cut through this without me knowing and here I go to attack and unfortunately lost a bit of health there unless they were health that was lost before and there's a castle now the AI will be create lots of buildings around here so you know siege workshop with mangonels, stables so you want to be careful that you're not accidentally going to be attacked by them and what you're going to take out why don't I make it faster you're going to take out the castle, excellent and I'm creating another castle here you, you can see my um, how much visibility I've got so I've got four relics, I've actually got one relic left here is it Oh, it's <laughs> guarded by two castles, not as it... I'm not going to get that. The AI is so simple, trying to use a skirmisher against... They're uh, so silly, trying to use a skirmisher against a castle. Anyway, here comes my horde of heavy cavalry archers. Um, what else is there to say about this? I mean, not much really. You don't need to worry about wood at all, and therefore that means you won't need to worry about food. So if you can, try and create more of the units that require wood and food so you know the pikemen the skirmishers um, and then you know hussars for example now uh, you go come on duh. at this point I wasn't actually listening to the audio within the game you know when I was playing it and so I didn't hear all these farms I do I think only in the last couple and I end up personally I think I did a lot better there because I can hear when I'm being attacked and worked so, so much better because before I just listened to music so of course as with any particular situation you know attacking one enemy can cause the other to become stronger and so it it's up to you whether which enemy you choose and I'm using these heavy cavalry archers just to try and take out anybody and I'm using these trebuchets to scout in a bit and one handy thing to do I reckon is to send your trebuchets in and if, if you saw here I sent them into around here and there's a town centre here, archery range here, a couple of other buildings here and there and it means that you can go in they're going to be protected because they're not going to be attacked by any military buildings that can fire here comes some monks but it also means that they don't have to unpack and move and they can just attack all the buildings around I love it when camels die because the guy on top just jumps over. I mean, now this. I mean, they're not doing it. There we go. That's what I wanted. The barracks to be to be destroyed and have any more military buildings. I think there's a yeah siege workshop here, archery range here, and soon that will be all the people gone. I mean, I've sent some people here just to scout out and haven't really scouted out much in red to be honest. But this one was actually pretty short when it came to the length and playing it. And, oh gosh. I mean, one unfortunate thing that you can't do um, if you're playing all against enemies is you can't um, trade with anyone. So I lost, you know, I can't get as much gold there. So you, there will be sc gold scattered around the centre of the map. I mean, there's some stone here, gold here, uh, some more gold here and skull you know go behind these castles here so if you can take control of them and try to get them in as early as you can but take, take control of them as early as you can then that would be very useful you could create a tower here just to protect it from anybody 
and let's come and get rid of that. I'm surprised, why isn't that town centre attacking? Ooh. Um, can't really think of much more to say, so I must, I must as well just try and skip as much as I can to the end. Uh, maybe the Celts can't get fortified wall. I wonder why I didn't bother about that. I mean, I did, I, to be honest, it, fortified wall doesn't actually cost much at all. So, uh, let's see, Celts, uh, university. Oh, it doesn't. Doesn't actually say. Okay, I'm actually a bit confused. Maybe every civilization can get fortified walls. Uh, let's just slow it down a bit. Yeah, maybe every, every civilization can get fortified walls anyway, but I didn't do it here. Now, you do want a lot of stone to be able to create castles uh, around the place because they are a great way of making an early attack. I mean, you can build a castle near the enemy's base, and it just depends. I mean, it depends on. You know, if it's AI, then the enemy isn't going to be that bad against it. But if you are going to be um, playing against actual people, then the enemy might try to bring out trebuchets and just get rid of your castles as quickly as possible. So I think what I tried to do is gradually progress with my castles. I mean, I had one here, ready to attack anyone that tried to get the villagers that got the gold here. Then I built a castle slightly further here, castle slightly further here. And then there's this other castle here try to get this one too and I'm starting to run out of gold you know I start to then use only they are potion cells yeah only um, gold for for siege things because of course you need more gold for that but also yeah but then I start creating lots of puzzles because I've got the wood and I've got the food I mean of course throughout all of this I mean it possibly would be a lot better if I'd actually created a lumber camp here and just had edit more and more, more people there. I mean, yeah, same here as well, I guess. But I've used these trebuchets, how many? Five trebuchets. I find five trebuchets is actually quite good. I think it's about five, anyway, that you need um, five shots will take down a barracks, for example, an archery range in, in just one shot, so that's quite useful. And I'm using these cavalry archers to, because if, if this is the brunt of my attack, the enemy will come in here, so I'm using these cavalry archers to then attack. And the people are just going just like that, and there's that's that barracks down. And I gotta be careful because one, two, three, there was a castle here, uh, four castles, possibly three around. And this match is nearly all over. I mean, if you have a look at my fog of war, there are a few things I haven't quite seen, for example, that castle. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Maybe I scouted that earlier and the castle wasn't quite built there. And I'm just creating loads of hussars and got lots of military buildings on the front. So that could well be another thing that you want to do um, when you go to attack someone. Is to... yeah, get rid of this. Is to create lots of military buildings um, that create the units that you want, obviously. Ah, there we go. To... yeah, near the enemy front gate because then you can create a unit and immediately send them in of course that allows you to be susceptible to trebuchets or bombard cannons and they seem to have got rid of all their things I don't won't be able to check now but I could have done spies at the end because with arena you know for example they've created a building here they created a building here they created a building here that's quite odd that um, and you know another building here for example so instead of having to scout around trying to find out where all of their buildings are you could just use spies and find out where they are but of course that only you can only do that as soon as you get all um or most of their villages and you have enough gold that's another reason why i leave the gold till later on in the game i mean i, I suppose i could sell some off uh, sell some wooden food off at the market but even so uh, I don't think there's anything else I could say about Arena. Um, it's quite popular in the multiplayer scene, I think. So, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.